everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed our story about the big bad wolf and the three little pigs and his adventures in baking. So I thought the craft we should do today would be to make our own baking adventure. And I'm gonna show you how to make a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. Those are my absolute favorites. So I asked Caesar if he could come along and help because he loves to cook. His favorite thing to make, as you all know, is grilled pizza. And I thought maybe he could help me make it. But I can't seem to get Larry out of bed this morning, or um, Caesar out of bed this morning. So I had to ask my friend Pirate Larry to come along and help today. Are you ready, Pirate Larry? Should yes. Should we make a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich? Yes. Okay, then I need everything you can give me for my very favorite BLT. Okay. Okay. Larry? Yeah. What is this? It's a BLT. Broccoli, lime, and tomato. Uh, taco sauce. Okay, I, I can't make a sandwich out of broccoli, lime, and taco sauce. Sure you can. You just put it in between bread. Okay, no. I, I guess, boys and girls, we will not be making a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich today because Larry thinks that a BLT is broccoli, lime, and taco sauce. And while broccoli is delicious and limes are yummy and taco sauce is great on tacos, it does not make a good sandwich. So I guess we're going to just have to make our craft of the big bad wolf and the three little pigs. And this we can do with the stuff that I have. Thank you very much, Larry. This will be a puppet craft that you can make so you can reenact the story of the big bad wolf and the three little pigs. And like in our story, if you want to make it funny and unusual where the wolf was just looking to make a cake for granny awesome and if you want to tell the original story where the three little pigs get their house blown down by the wolf you can do that one too so it's all in your imagination what you'd like to do and this is a really easy and fun craft to make um to make the pigs all you need are some pink some large pink circles that are about two to three inches in diameter and then you need a smaller pink circle which is going to be um, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch in diameter and then you need to cut out some itty bitty little triangles for the ears. And then you need some googly eyes for the eyes. And you're going to need a popsicle stick for the, um, for the thing. And then you need a black marker to draw the, um, the nose on. So the first thing you have to do is get your glue and glue your um, snout onto your pink piggy. And maybe my prop guy could get me a black marker that I forgot to put out here. And then we're going to go ahead and glue our ears on. You want to put just a drop of glue. You can also use a glue stick. That might be easier for some of you little ones with um, still working on your fine motor skills. Thanks, prop guy. And then we'll put our little ears on like so. You can give a lot of character to these pigs. By doing this, you can put your ears any way you want and then put your eyes on too. Just like that and there you go and then we'll go ahead and put his little nose on here one two and put a little bit more glue on a popsicle stick you might want to use regular glue instead of a glue stick for this part um, just so that they stick better without falling off slide it underneath pat it down and Press it good, let it sticks, and there's your piggy. And before we filmed, I did the other two pigs to go with our wolf. And so there you have all the pigs. And you can decide which one lives in the house of straw, and which one lives in the house of sticks, and which one lives in the house of bricks. And you can decide if any of them are going to be nice and give our dear old friend wolf here a cup of sugar. Now, how do we make our wolf? Well, if you go down to the Herm Memorial Library, we do have this all in a craft kit bag for you with all these supplies. And we've even included a Big Bad Wolf template and a piece of brown construction paper and the brown paper bag that you're going to need. And we've included um, the, 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 belly, the tummy of the wolf cut out of craft paper. And we've given you the googly eyes that you'll need for that. And even a little black heart nose. If you don't, oh, and then the pink ears that go inside the ears that you'll cut out of your template. If you are not in our area and not able to come get this, 
This is easy enough to make. You just want to draw like a um, wedge shape from a pie plate. Just take a, a paper plate, trace in a circle in it, and then put it into fourths and take a fourth of it for his head. And then you want two large triangles for your ears. And then the tail shape, that's just like a crescent shape that we zigzag the lines around to make it look like it's furry. So if you have to make your own template, you can do that. It's not that hard. Or like I said, you can come to the Herm Memorial Library here in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania and pick up a kit to make it yourself. So I went ahead and I pre-cut out my template. There's the head. And what I did not do so that I could show you is on my wolf here, we fringed his edges so that he's furry. And if you want to fringe your edges too, that's simple enough. You just want to go on a diagonal here and cut little edges all the way around. You want to cut just a little bit in, like maybe a quarter of an inch. This is really good practice for kids that are learning how to use scissors because they can fringe really easy. It helps them learn to manipulate scissors. And you can come around, and as you're coming around the top, you're going to want to turn the scissors so that you go with the paper curve. And this will help teach your kids, too, how to move paper while they're cutting. It's a real eye-hand coordination skill. And then on this side, too, you're going to want to come in and cut diagonally so we can give our wolf some real fur. You can make your wedges as thin or as thick as you like. You can kind of see here that they're pretty thick, whereas on the wolf I did here, they're much thinner. But it doesn't really matter because this is your wolf and they can look any way you want. And that kind of gives him some depth and some cuteness to his face. So that would be the first thing you want to do. Then you want to take your paper bag and you want to make sure that um, this is the, going to be the front side of the bag and this is going to be the back side of the bag. And the front side of the bag here with the lip, you're going to want to glue on your head. And you just need to kind of glue like a little triangle shape here because that's all it's going to be for the head. And then we can press it down with the point side down just like that. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is glue on his belly. So you want to flip your paper over again. If you can't pick up one of these, we just took a piece of scrapbook paper or craft paper. You can also use colored cardstock. Um, or if you just want to cut out white paper and have your kiddos color it, that works too. And you just want to color, you want to cut it the same shape of your paper bag. So if you're using large paper bags, it's going to be larger. If you're using regular size paper bags, it's only going to be about three, maybe I think it's four inches across. And then um, I think it's six inches, um, six inches long. And then we just rounded the edges here with our scissors. And then you just want to sit here and add a little bit of glue. Again, you could use a glue stick with this if you don't have regular glue. Um, it's not quite so um, intensive. I think I need to get more glue. My glue bottle starting to get empty. Oh no. I guess that means we've done a lot of crafts. And then you just want to put him right up on the edge here of your paper bag so that the head just comes down on the top of it. And you want to center it if you have OCD issues. And you go like that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make his ears. So you're going to want to take your ear that you cut from your template, your big green, your big brown triangles. And then inside the kit, we included little pink triangles. Again, if you don't have the kit, just cut smaller triangles out of pink paper. And we want to glue them on like so. So that they center right in the middle. That way the, ear, the wolf has got these cute pink ears that go with them. And we'll do this on this ear. And we'll do it on the other ear. Do like that. So we're going to again. You can use a glue stick. It doesn't really matter on the wolf. Anything will fit on him. I just recommend a regular glue when you're doing the popsicle sticks on the pigs. So there's your ears, and now we're going to flip our bag over because you want to glue them up here on the top. So you just want to put a little bit of glue up here. Oh my glue bottle! Don't run out on me. All right, a little bit here on the top. And a little bit here on the top here too. And then we'll just glue our ears kind of on an angle so they pop up from behind. And press down like so. And there you have wolf ears. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our eyes on our wolf. The same thing with the googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, that's okay. You can always cut out um, 
black and white circles from construction paper for his eyes, or you can use markers and color them on too. That works also. The googly eyes are kind of cute because they bounce around as you move the puppet, but they're not required. Same thing with the nose. If you don't have a heart punch out, that's okay. Um, you can also just use um, like a black pom-pom if you have that, or even just a circle of dark construction paper. I just thought the upside down heart makes a very cute nose for our wolf. And we don't want him to be too big and bad, do we? In fact, if you want to add teeth, just cut out some white triangles and put some teeth under him here. I didn't want to make our wolf very fierce and ferocious, so I didn't add teeth. You could also add a long pink tongue if you like, um, however you want to make your wolf look when he's all said and done. And last but not least, we have to add the tail. We made the tail nice and long because we want to be able to tuck it in on, um, underneath this back of his body here so it's nice and long and bushy. So on here again too, you want to take your tail, and that's why it's a curve shape so it can pop up behind the back of the, the wolf here. And we want to just have him have a little bit of glue on there. And we're going to tuck him in under here. And that is your wolf tail. And there you have your wolf puppet and your three little pigs. You want to make sure they thoroughly dry before you play with them so they don't fall apart. But once they're dry, you can build a house out of straw, a house out of sticks, and a house out of bricks and play with your new puppet friends. And maybe you can get your mom to make you a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich for lunch. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, Larry? Or your dad. Yeah, I know. Oh, hey, look who's joined us. Good morning, Caesar. You're a little late to the party. I'm sorry. I'll wake you up next time. Thanks, Caesar. Goodbye, everybody. We hope you have a great day. See you later.